The use of micro-irrigation systems is highly beneficial because they optimize the water consumption compared with traditional irrigation systems. A regular practice in irrigation is the use of water that is not disinfected. This often results in the rapid growth of several species of algae, fungi and bacteria which create a biofilm inside the tube, causing a suboptimal water flow. To remove this biofilm, irrigation pipes are usually added with various chemicals and peroxides. In addition, roots from the crops often grow inside drippers searching for water that also results in clogging of the drips. These limitations can be overcome by the implementation of new functionalities in the micro-irrigation pipe based on the use of antimicrobial and anti-root additives without affecting crop quality nor production. Thanks to the Riga project, an improved micro-irrigation system is being developed. This project, co-funded by the European Union Eco Innovation Programme, Eco 13, 630, 411, is coordinated by AIMPLAS. In this research, six members from three countries have taken part, Italy, Belgium and Spain. PCS, Research Centre for Ornamental Cultivation, PCG, Vegetable Research Centre, and Thursa, Centre for Agricultural Experimentation and Assistance, form the bridge between scientific research and practical applications at grower level. Within the Riga project, their main task is the validation of the Riga tubes in typical Northwest European and Mediterranean climate conditions and cropping systems, both outdoor and in greenhouses on vegetables, ornamentals and aromatic plants. This to ensure that grower demands are fulfilled during the development of the irrigation tubes. The role of Galloplast in the Riga project being an expert in master batch compound production. The main task has been to obtain the master batch with a high load of antimicrobial and anti-root products in order to be used by Iritec in the production of micro-irrigation systems. Galloplast has obtained two master batch, one with antimicrobial properties and another one with anti-root functionality. The role of Iritec has been the assessment at industrial scale for the extrusion manufacturing process of flat pipe and drippers for the new micro irrigation system based on standard polyolefin grades with new functionalities such as antimicrobial and anti roots features. The production of new flat drippers and flat pipe with anti root and antimicrobial properties have been optimized during the injection and extrusion process. The amount of the additives used was adjusted to obtain products most suitable for given field conditions. The main objectives of uh, validation trials were first of all to translate research results into practice and to provide the pipes and drippers manufacturers with a valuable indication for final product improvement. Different aspects regarding distribution of water, presence of biofilm inside pipes, flows in drippers and pipes, crop quality were taken in consideration. Pipes and drippers containing antimicrobial and anti-root additives provided promising results compared to the traditional products. The new pipes guaranteed a constant flow rate during the whole experimentation period. The measured pressure inside the tubes was maintained constant during the whole trial. The presence of antimicrobial additive inhibited the fungal population growth inside the pipes with a clear correlation with increasing additive concentration. The occurrence of small cracks and failures on drippers can be considered negligible with regards to the specific environmental conditions that characterized the trials which were carried out in Belgium and Italy. So finally, the innovative pipes assured a comparable yield and crop quality comparing to the classical systems. A life cycle assessment is being performed to evaluate the environmental impact of the new pipe. As this pipe can be used during more time, less uh, plastic waste is generated so less gas emission is produced. 
In addition, a cost analysis is being estimated to assure that the new products could be cost competitive with the current ones, less than 10% difference.